Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. Time for another Windows 10 build video and we're getting close to the final version. This is 14390 for PC and mobile. Microsoft said this isn't the RTM, although RTM is not really a term they use. People ask on Twitter uh, whether it, is it RTM. It won't, probably won't be the final version that gets uh, released to all Windows users. Maybe they'll go for a round number like 14, 400, something like that. But, uh, this is the one we've got now and there's not a lot of issues, not a lot of changes with this. Microsoft are just getting the last few bugs out before this gets released to the uh, general public. So what's new in this build on PC? Um, well, there's a new extension called Amazon Assistant and you can find the extensions here uh, in Internet in, in Edge and as you saw in the previous build when you go to the extensions page you now get this um, extensions part of the store so let's install the Amazon Assistant so um, this helps you it says uh, deliver better decisions when you shop online we give you access to deal of the day and, and so on so we just uh, got that let's have a look at the extension so there's the extension installed. Oh, it's not working for me. Um, could be because it's US only. Um, it's supposed to give you a deal of the day, product comparisons, wish list, and shortcuts. So um, I'll try it again uh, shortly as well. So what else has uh, changed in this build? Well, there's only one uh, ch made change, and that's you would no longer see the develop the error code uh, when enable enabling developer mode. Uh, in the settings so uh, I think that's up here and developer modes and when you enable developer mode you were getting uh, an error code if you were in, in the non e, uh, US English um, installation that's gone now so uh, the only what issue they warn you about there's no known issues as such as bugs in the build um, is that they say awareness a recent fix went into place for the Hyper-V firmware that will affect the ability to boot Windows Server 2016 Tech Preview 5 VMs um, and if you try and boot a Tech Preview 5 VM with uh, secure boot enable it will fail so the workaround is to disable secure boot, uh, boot and there's a fix for uh, for that on, on its way uh, so that's the only issue. So if you just use it for normal c consumer stuff, then that's there's no problems. It will all work fine. So um, and I should point out as well as with the previous builds, there's um, no watermark down here. Uh, a good sign that this could be the release version, but like I said, it probably won't be. Uh, but it's not far off now. So that's all the changes with this build, and you uh, can see all the Windows 10 Redstone or Anniversary Update uh, previews on our YouTube channel, and you can even go right back to the very first Windows 10 previews if you want to look at how far things have progressed since the early days. So there may be a couple more hands-on videos uh, before we get to the, to the final release, um, but not long now. Thanks for watching this video.